Hello, Kainatis. I am still at Spaceport, and we are waiting for Namira Salim's flight to go up. It's going to go up in about half an hour or so. You are watching this afterwards. So this has already happened, but I'm just giving you in the moment. With me, we have a future astronaut, Anand Sidwani, and he's going to tell us about why he is here and what he wants to do. So, Anand, first of all, welcome. Thank you. Why are you here? He's an aerospace engineer, but I want to know a little bit more about that. We'll come to this point, but why are you here at Spaceport? Okay. Nice to meet everybody. Um, I'm here uh, because I'll be a future astronaut. I want to see the technology that's involved in the hard work. And I'm also here for Namira, because I, I read that she was flying to space. Namira was uh, born in uh, Karachi, and so were my parents, just outside of Karachi. So it was, it was, just, it was a very strong inspiration for me to come. And um, what got me interested in space was uh, in second grade, my teacher put up uh, pictures of the, the planets. So there's Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus. And I always wondered, what would these planets look like in, in person? Um, and when are we going to go there? How are we going to ex explore? And uh, that got me motivated to get into uh, rockets and, and astronomy. Um, so that, that's what I do on a on a day to day basis. I help uh, build uh, rocket engines uh, to let astronauts get to space, and uh, it's exciting for me to one day go to space as well. So, Anand, this is amazing. So first of all, I grew up in Karachi. I was born in Hyderabad, so a little bit to Hyderabad Sindh, so a little further uh -huh. out. But then I grew up in Karachi, so we have a lot in common oh, yeah. regarding that. Um, so. You said that you got interested in space when you were very young, and that's, by the way, is the importance of talking about space and mm -hmm. teaching about space and things like that. But what do you think, why go to space and what do you expect is going to happen? I mean, what are you going to see? Do you have anything in mind, in imagination? What are you thinking about when you are going to go to space? Are you going to see dark sort of like you know, space or what kind of thing are you expecting to see? Sure, that's, that's an excellent question. Um, so the, the things that I'm excited about are to experience the technology involved. Mm -hmm. uh, I had the opportunity of flying on the Concorde back in 2003 where we traveled at twice the speed of sound. Mm -hmm. And it was an engineering marvel and an engineering feat. And uh, to be part of the technology that uh, drives us higher and faster uh, is, is very exciting to me. Um, the other part is the unknown. I, I don't know what I'm going to experience or see. And I think that the biggest part is uh, psychological. Um, how will I feel when I see the darkness of space against the, the light of the Earth? Um, oh, you know, what will I, what will I see when, when I look back? Uh, and that, that mystery is, is very uh, compelling to me. And uh, what comes after, you know, traveling uh, so high to space. Uh, and the other part of it is I, I love uh, giving uh, science talks. And this will, this will provide extra perspective for me to share with others about what their journey may be like and what to look out for when, when they travel to space. So it, it, it's the exploration of the unknown. I've, I've always been a fan of uh, Star Trek and I'm excited to be a small part of that. Now, have you been watching the new Star Trek, The Strange New Worlds? I have, absolutely. Okay, all right, that is actually pretty good. I mean, I was a Next Generation fan and the new one is uh -huh. actually pretty good. So, so uh, are you planning or are you thinking about going to the moon if an opportunity arises or you think that would be too far or how do you think about going to the moon? I, w I would love to go to the moon um, and I, was, I would also love to go to Mars. Um, you know, one day uh, when uh, SpaceX has a Starship uh, operational, it'll be able to transport large amounts of people to, to the moon and eventually Mars and hopefully beyond. And uh, that would be, it would be wonderful to travel on there. I mean, I'd be excited. You, you, you'll get a seat to Mars? Oh, yeah. If you get a seat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, if that happens, We'll definitely have another interview. Actually, we will have another interview with him before that. <laughs> but uh, no, this is really fascinating. And thank you so much. We are all here. And it's great to meet you. And, uh, and good luck with that. And when your turn comes in, when do you expect your space flight turn might come? 
It's unknown to me now. I, I would say definitely in the next few years. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully we will get to interview you more in that time. But Thanks, thank Alvin. you. Thank you so much. I appreciate and it. please, when you go to Pakistan, let us know. There are people over there, like you know, that are interested in these things. And if you give space talks, aerospace is an industry which is sort of like you know pretty new over there, and that would be great actually if you can give talks over there. I would love to. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.